scorched, deep maroon eye and lip look. I usually go for something nude. I wanted to switch it up for you guys. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. Okay, so I already have my base done and I'm just gonna go ahead and just do my eyes. This is gonna be a super cranberry, like maroon color eye, but really, really deep. And then we're gonna can balance it out with a nude lip. So I'm going in with my Naked Basics palette from Urban Decay. And I'm just grabbing this burnt orange shade. My eyelids already had concealer on them from when I carved my brows and I had set them already. So they're already set. So I'm just going right in with this color. For this look, I'm not gonna be afraid to really go in with the pigment. And because I'm doing my complexion first before my eyes, that's why I chose Urban Decay shadows because they have zero to little fallout. So I'm gonna just buff this on the entire lid, but I am gonna bring this look up to like the inner under my brow right here. I don't want it to just be like blown out this way. I want it really in here, kind of like that runway look. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust this all over my lid. Now that that's dusted all over my lid, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my Naked Heat palette and I'm gonna go in with Cayenne which is just a little deeper than the color we just used and just dust that right over everywhere we just did. Focusing it in this crease in the middle. After I've deepened it up, then I'll buff it out to the edges. And I'm just gonna repeat this step until it's as deep and rich as I want it to be. Okay, so now I'm gonna take Key Devil and only put this in the middle to the outer part of my crease. And I'm just gonna carve that part out on both sides. And then you're gonna go in with Enfuego, which is more of a purpley shade, and layer that right on top. And you're just carving this outer crease area out like that. And I'm going back and forth windshield wiper motions. I'm not doing circular motions just yet. Now that I feel like it's as deep as I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and take the little flat, smaller side of the brush, go back in with my Hey Devil, and I'm gonna carve out my lower lash line and connect the two at the end of my eye. And then I just wanna blend this outer corner together. So this is when I'm going back in with my circular motions because I don't want this to be too streaky really really buffed on the outer edges and then just sweep over everything that we've done making sure you're still bringing it far in almost to like where you start your nose contour you want this look to be pretty dramatic but still blended perfect so now we're going to go ahead and deepen up our lower lash line some more go back in with Enfuego you're literally just repeating the same colors that you did on your eyelid and we're just going to deepen this up all the way across and the same on the other eye. Now we're gonna take this deep, deep purple in the shade Ashes and really smoke this lower lash line out, just like this. And we're gonna continue until it's as smoky as we want it and do on both sides. Okay, so I'm gonna take like a dome shaded blending brush and just really smudge this bottom. And the reason why I'm using a blending brush and not a smudging brush is because it smudges the start of the color, but the end just looks really blended. So we, we want dramatic. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take back ashes, the deep purple, and I'm just gonna dab it where we have our deeper color and the outer crease, like this. And then I'm just gonna go in and do some last minute blend, especially up close to my brow bone. I want this really airbrushed. And just blend both eyes till you're satisfied. So I just went ahead and blended both eyes. I'm pretty satisfied with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop some lashes on and this whole look is gonna come together. And then we'll go ahead and decide on the lip. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and popped these lashes on. I'm really, really satisfied with this eye look. I love the way it came out, how I brought it in so much more further and towards my nose. So let's go ahead and line my lips. I'm gonna use Soar by MAC, and I'm gonna cover my entire lips with lip liner. Okay, so I lined my entire lips with Soar, and now I'm gonna go in with MAC by Sceptual, and it's a luster lipstick, which I need, because my lips are so, so dry, and I feel like, you can kind of see how they're like wrinkling. Ooh, hot mess. 
And when you just use liner, I feel like it just accentuates the dryness and like the ripples in your lip. So I wanna either put a gloss or something really creamy on top. And I'm focusing it more in the middle and then I'll blend it out. Okay, so I really like this lip, but it's a little more pink than I wanted it. So I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna take my ring finger, go into my Naked Heat palette and pick up Scorch and I'm gonna put this on top of the lipstick and just dust it all around. Okay, so I went ahead and put Scorched all over my lips and I feel like that just brought everything together. I do wanna do a little bit on my inner corner, so I'm gonna take Lumbre. Usually I would go pretty light in my inner corner, but I wanna switch it up. Lumbre is more of like a peachy gold. So let's just dust this here like that. And this look is pretty much done. I really like this. I'm just gonna blend this a little bit right there. And we are all set. I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope you liked my little trick with the lip at the end. Sometimes you think a lip is gonna pair well with an eye and it doesn't, but you don't wanna take it off because you like it. So just tweak it a little bit and you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe down below. Give me a thumbs up, hit the bell so you stay notified for all of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye, thank you so much.